For Super Earth, for managed democracy, Helldivers have done the undoable since the game launched in which they exterminated an entire faction following the latest major order and pushed for liberation. But what's next? That's the trillion super credit question, and today we're taking a look at the major win for Super Earth and what it means for the future here in the Helldivers 2 universe. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below and make sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, my friends over at Gamer Advantage are running a Flash Eclipse sale where code Espresso can get you a pair of glasses for up to 47.5% off. One of the best deals and oddly specific numbers we've seen from now until the 11th, but more on that a little later. For now, what's new in Helldivers? So if you jumped in on the game at all, followed any of the socials for Helldivers, you may have seen the news or heard it. Their official socials even posting things like, we did it, Operation Swift Disassembly was a success, which was the major assault on the automaton territory, stating that the bots have been eradicated and the bugs are currently contained, galactic freedom is once more, with a celebration on Super Earth even beginning, awarding Helldivers an additional extra minute break, rewarding their bravery on the battlefields with however long it took them to read that message, being a part of that one minute so maybe like 40 extra seconds to see your families before you have to deploy once more for the spread of democracy but anyways for the first time since helldivers 2 launched we have completely and totally finished all of our objectives in one side of the galactic war only available terminate admissions are available with the current major order expiring by this time tomorrow to clear the way for the construction of new safer and more efficient e710 farms where we have to liberate Crimsica, Astanu, and Hellmire with Hellmire being the only one left to liberate as the time of recording this video 40 percent completed again as of recording that but to see 100 percent liberation of the territories controlled by the automatons with a full focus now on a singular planet of the terminates I definitely think it's doable but all of this comes at such interesting timing to me like we just saw updates for the automaton territories you had those new carriers coming into play and then well now they're air quote eradicated but peace across the galaxy can't last forever certainly right so what's next again like i said that's the trillion super credit question but there's a few things that could be coming to the game on a smaller scale, there's been the Hive Lord that could be coming, a much larger and crazy big Terminated enemy that was found recently in the game files. There have been skeletons around some of the Terminated worlds in some areas that have seemingly hinted at that being something that would come since day one, but in a focus on the Terminated side of the war, I think that makes sense for something to be coming like that soon as well. Like, I don't think it's crazy to introduce it when every single eye in the galaxy is on the Terminates, since that's the only thing we can do at the moment. But like, bigger picture, Something else has to be coming, right? Like since day one, we haven't had a singular fight for managed democracy. It's always been back and forth, a power struggle between managing both fronts, both the automatons and the terminates, which is why I feel like something big has to be coming. Super Earth has never celebrated like this before, and it's just a, a huge red flag to me. So report me to your local democracy officer if you must, but bigger picture, I think something's definitely gonna be coming, to which I think that could lead us to a couple of different options. Number one, and probably one of the biggest ones people are waiting for, is the Illuminate. I think that when we look at the potential for the next third or quarter of the Galactic War and the map here in the planets we'll see introduced, I feel like the Illuminate are the next ones to be tapped, or perhaps the next largest threat maybe not necessarily next up. But from the first game, they were an ancient and technologically advanced civilization with weapons of mass destruction. And when the game launched, people were a bit surprised that we didn't see them introduced here. But since launch, we've also seen plenty of teasers, plenty of hints and all from in-game things like those blue lights that even the CEO was like, yeah, hey, don't don't worry about that. That's nothing to sightings of some apparent enemy types as Easter eggs to in-game lore and propaganda with the likes of AI conversations mentioning that we destroyed them and they're no longer a threat to the newly leaked video calling them out by name and their presence of the ships. So we've seen them since day one sort of mentioned and in the realm of possibilities for things coming, we just haven't seen that quite tapped just yet. We've seen their assets and creature types leaked, so we've, again, known that they are planned to be coming into the game, we just don't have any exact date. So it could make sense that maybe they're the next threat up. Also, the cyborgs are somebody that apparently will be coming as well, the creators of the automatons. I think that that could be something that we see introduced here in the near future, sharing the same home world of Cyberstand. So it's possible we see those come back and make a larger unified push in the galactic war, perhaps. But there was a recent broadcast message that also was recently discovered that pointed towards a return of the automatons that we thought we destroyed, coming back with a surprise attack, where it said, in a shocking development, a massive automaton fleet has invaded Cyberstand and the surrounding systems. 
and that early reports indicate that that armada is over 10 times larger than all previous encountered automaton forces. So obviously we had seen a ton of automatons throughout the sectors that we had to liberate here the last month and a half to two months since the game launched. So to see them come back with a massive vengeance is also something very possible. Again, both of those I think are very good leading theories for what happens next. So the next big question is when? While no seasons have been defined in Helldivers, really, a part of me thinks that later this week could honestly work. We have that new war bond coming out on the 11th with new weaponry and such, so it kind of makes sense to see that included with new threats, perhaps. With so little downtime between updates and like major items that they want to make sure they push storyline wise, having a celebration and downtime of actually like completing an objective like that is kind of weird. So to me, it makes logical sense. But either way, whatever does come, it seems like Helldivers, I think, is still doing a great job at managing it at all. While about a month ago, we talked about how the game was doing a phenomenal job at keeping players over time compared to other massive games that will blow up out of nowhere, then drop off equally as fast. While drop off is inevitable, it's still insanely impressive the numbers that Helldivers 2 is pulling. And I think that's just a huge testament to what Arrowhead has been able to do with this game. In all seriousness and jokes about the fight for Super Earth aside, I genuinely think Arrowhead have been killing it with everything they've got going on in the game. It's a bummer that I haven't really been able to play nearly as much due to a combination of real life stuff in the past month or so taking precedence, but also then not really having a squad to run with that I'm not really able to grind out the game. I'm way under leveled compared to where I want to be and haven't accomplished nearly as much as I thought I would have by this point. But just from a simply gaming fan perspective, I love to see how enthusiastic and passionate this game has made people. I feel like by making a fun gameplay loop, by making a live service experience that doesn't feel forced or feel like a chore like you'd see in so many other games right now. It's just genuine fun. That's awesome. And like, yeah, I know it's not for everyone. I get that. But especially coming from a scene where it seems like the biggest group of people who want the game to fail are their own biggest fans. It's just refreshing to see that people are having fun and enjoying the atmosphere of the game. I'm looking forward to seeing how much can be done here in the near future with the storytelling that Arrowhead is doing, and with so much more to match the lore of what we saw usable in Helldivers 1, plus what can be expanded upon and of course crafted anew. I think there's insane potential for the story and how the gameplay will continue on for years and years. And I think if they continue the way that they have done so far, I think their fan base and player count will be just fine because it truly is something that's unique in how a live service game works. It's engaging with how it relies on the players and how they to a degree dictate how the game will play out. But again, most importantly, because it's fun. Stoked to see what is next for Helldivers 2, but right now we've done the impossible. We've liberated the galaxy from the automatons. I'm not expecting that to last long. I feel like something is right around the corner here, but until then, we'll see. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Before we wrap everything up, for a short window of time here, again, just until the 11th, Gamer Advantage has a site-wide 37.5% off discount where Code Espresso can stack to give you 47.5% off your entire order. One of the best discounts we've seen by far to date. But if you guys want to check out what I firmly believe are the best bullet glasses on the market, now is as best a time as any. I've worked with these guys for three years now and cannot recommend them enough. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there. And I definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Full transparency, they are a bit more of an investment, but I do think your vision is absolutely worth investing into, especially if you're like me, looking at a monitor, phone, or gaming for a good chunk of the day. So if you guys would like to learn more, at the very least, I'd recommend checking out their website where they can better break down the science and all the specifics way better than I could. But what I can personally say is that I'd highly recommend them. So if you'd like to learn more, check the link in the description below. And of course, if you'd like to pick something up for yourself, use code Espresso to get 47.5% off your entire order. For now, though, that is what we're going to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the current status of Helldivers 2? What do you think is right around the corner? Let me know down below. But if you enjoyed the video, if you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more Helldivers 2 content, as well as a ton of other FPS content here on the channel. I'd love to have you. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care. In peace.